The greatest American alive. The American people are bigger and stronger and more powerful than Donald Trump. The American people as a collective are bigger and stronger than the government. But I created this company. I did so with the understanding. I saw so much unrest. I've been watching this unrest grow in America since since George Bush. Since that, since George Bush sent a whole bunch of 18 year old boys to go fight a war that we shouldn't have been fighting. I was like, man, this ain't good. I saw the political climate start to change. I saw Republicans and Democrats. We started arguing. I saw families being torn apart. I seen brothers and brothers being angry with each other because they had different political opinions. And I was like, hey, if there isn't a group or an entity or, or some type of message to remind the American person that there's never been anyone more powerful than the American people, the American citizen is the most powerful person that's ever existed in the whole history of the world. The people are more powerful than Donald Trump. We're more powerful than Joe Biden. We're more powerful than the entire American government. Because without you clocking in, there is no government. Without you going to work every day, there is no economy. I think that's the most important fact as we come up on this political system. There is not an individual who can save this nation. The only people who can save America is you, the greatest American alive. When I say that, that's not some type of abstract idea. That is a statement of fact. If you remove your energy from this system, there, there is no system. And so if we don't remind ourselves of how powerful we are, if we don't start engaging in powerful conversations, then we'll allow big business and we'll allow politicians to come in and just completely dominate us. And I don't think that you should be dominated. I don't want to be dominated. But the only way that we can fight back is to acknowledge power. There are only two things in the whole history of the universe. Those two things are energy and impact. And when the American people come together as a collective, there is nothing that can stop that power. There is no government that can stop that power. A matter of fact, the Declaration of Independence, it stated that very precisely. It said whenever the government no longer benefits the people, it is the right of the people to abolish said government. And so when everyone hey, you can't be scared right now, dear America, it's no time to be afraid. If anything bad happens to this country, it's because you allowed it to happen. Donald Trump can't destroy this nation. Joe Biden can't destroy this nation. But when you do not accept your civic responsibility and your duty to uphold the rule of law, what's the rule of law? I think the most the most important thing in any society is the family. I'm willing to fight for. I'm willing to sacrifice my life for my children and the people that I love. And that's my principle. That's what keeps me going. And since I have that belief system, I know that you value your family and your children just as much as I value mine. And so as long as that is the upholding value that keeps America together, that holds us together, then there is no entity that can destroy us. We have to fight for what's valuable. We have to stand up for what's valuable. You know, this is what power is. Like everyone is entitled to having their own thoughts and opinions. Hell yeah, you can think whatever you want to think. It's America. That's called freedom. But when, when you have actual freedom, you have to be willing to defend that freedom. You have to be willing to defend those thoughts. You have to be willing to defend your opinions. And if you don't have enough power to defend your thoughts and opinions, then guess what? You're weak. Then you'll get scared. And then when you have a guy like Donald Trump, Donald Trump is just a man. The, if I have any critique of Donald Trump, the only critique is that the American people do not hold him accountable. He can only do what you allow him to do. I don't care about no Democrat or Republican. These things are just ideas. These are political parties. The American people, we could create another political party just like that. That's how powerful you are. If we didn't want the Democratic and Republican parties to exist, you can wipe them off the face of the planet just like this. You ain't got to do nothing. All we got to do is say, hey, you know what? The exact same way that the United States government said that you couldn't go to work because of COVID-19, you could easily, you could easily say, hey, we're going to boycott the elections. We ain't voting for none of these guys. This is all political theater and the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. Neither one of these systems represents my ideas. They don't represent my family values. Ninety five percent of American people are workers. We are working people and we clock in every day. And so I don't think that we're supposed to be beholden to our employer. You know, like if, if you work at a big company like Google or somewhere and you say that you have conservative ideas and they, they decide to penalize you and punish you. I think that's wrong. And I think that every American person, if you're saying that another worker is being persecuted, it's your responsibility. It's your duty to fight for that other working person. 
it's dumb for American people to take the side of government over the people. The people are most the people are most important. You're most important. And we have to focus on that. I don't give a damn about Donald Trump. I don't care about Joe Biden. These are political puppets who have position in our society because we allow them to exist. The moment you want something different, let's change that. The moment you want something better, the, the moment you want to be more powerful, you have that opportunity. It's at your fingertips. You just have to have a better conversation. You have to acknowledge that, hey, man, I'm a human person and I'm flawed. Sometimes I get things wrong. Donald Trump is a human person. He is flawed and sometimes he'll get something wrong. But if we work together and we hold it and we hold each other accountable for our thoughts and opinions, then we can have a more better society. We can have a more whole nation. But once we start doing really crazy things like using the rule of law to attack our political opponents, then we're going to destroy this nation. That is an act of war. If I disagree with you, I don't want you to go to jail. Have you ever been to jail? I was in Harris County Jail the year when uh, uh, what's that guy's name? LeBron James. The year that they won the championship, we had a race riot in Harris County Jail and I seen white men fighting black men. I saw blood. I saw carnage. Then I seen the, 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 the prison system descend upon those folks and I seen guards get knocked out. If you've never witnessed actual violence, then you might be afraid of violence. I don't fear violence. I know that you're supposed to prepare and be strong for whatever conflict comes your way. And I think the American people, we have been lazy. We have not been working out. We have been, we have not been practicing resistance. And so if there is a force that comes to try to take advantage of the American people, we're not prepared to stop that force because we've been acting scared. And if this is the home of the brave, it's time for you to become courageous. It's time for you to accept your duty as the greatest American alive. Yes, you. Every person in America that clocks in every day, you invest in this entire system with your life. You invest in your company with your life. You invest in this entire society with your life. This, this, is, a, this is a blood oath. You put everything that you have into this nation. And I'm asking you to appreciate that. It's not time to be divided based on gender or race or some type of political ideology. It is time to be united based on the understanding that we're all going to work every day just to provide for our families. Politics is simply the negotiation of resources. The only time you get to war is when you stop negotiating or when you feel like that negotiation has taken advantage of you. And the only way the American government can take advantage of you is if you allow them. And so I'm asking, I'm telling you, the American person must be the most powerful citizen just like you are and be the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.